Hardwired into our mental DNA is the need to reciprocate. When we receive a gift, the regions of the brain associated with emotion and decision making light up. Studies on the social and psychological aspects of this activity show that receiving the gift triggers a cognitive conflict that must be resolved. The easiest way to resolve the conflict is to give something in return of equal or greater value. In psychology, this is known as the theory of reciprocity or social reciprocity. The Coca-Cola experiment is probably the most well-known study on reciprocity. It was published in 1971 by Dennis Reagan. In the study, the participant believed they were there to evaluate paintings. Also in the room was a fellow participant named Joe, but Joe was really Reagan's assistant. First, Reagan manipulated the degree to which a participant liked Joe by having the subject overhear Joe being either polite or rude to a person during a phone conversation. In one condition, Joe would later then leave and return with two soft drinks, giving one as a gift. In another condition, Joe would leave and return empty-handed. After evaluating the art, Joe was then left alone with the participant, at which point he would hand them a note asking them to buy some raffle tickets. The results of the study showed the power of giving. In the condition where Joe did not give the participant a soda, the degree to which they liked Joe influenced how many raffle tickets they would buy. But, in the condition where Joe did give a soda, participants bought twice as many tickets as in the no soda condition, regardless of the degree to which they liked Joe. So not only did people that did not like Joe buy tickets at twice the rate, they ended up buying more raffle tickets than the cost of the soda. Since the Coca-Cola study, there have been numerous experiments that confirm that when you give, you shall receive. This is great if you are giving in a principled manner, but this is where the slippery slope of ethics enters the equation. Savvy marketers apply the principle to generate revenue. They know by giving you something small for free, you will tend to spend much more. For instance, when you receive a letter in the mail asking for donations, it often comes with something for free. Years ago, it was a small packet of stamps or address labels. Recently, I received a donation letter that contained a brand new, crisp $1 bill. At a shopping mall, if you go near the food court, there's almost always someone handing out free bites. Go to a trade show and you will walk away with a bag full of freebies or swag. Surf the internet and inevitably you will be offered a free newsletter, samples, or a free trial. It is up to you to decide where to draw the ethical line, how exactly you want to use this tool to influence others in helping to achieve your goals. Personally, don't send me a crisp dollar bill. I know you just want more donations and don't really care about me. I see it as intentional manipulation. On the other hand, keep the free samples coming in the food court. I think you believe in your product and just want to offer me a tasty treat that might just persuade me to take a seat. 